Okay, my name is Douglas Thompson, and this is a video about something pretty important, and it's a touchy topic. Um, I've talked about it before in some, some other uh, videos, kind of touched upon it. But this is um, how viable is training with an airsoft pistol to supplement your real steel, um, your firearm training. And uh, so th this mainly applies to people that cannot afford to get to the range, cannot, um, maybe they're injured and they can't um, actively drive themselves somewhere to, I don't, a, lot, a lot of different reasons. Maybe, maybe they can't afford the ammunition. Um, a lot of reasons why someone might not be able to get to the range or wherever they go shooting to practice with their firearm. Um, Needless to say, this is the real firearm on the left here. This is the airsoft version on the right. Let's clear the weapons. Uh, these are... Okay. So, and for the time being, let's uh, um, watch my video on the 7-round stock magazine. Glock, stock, stock Glock magazine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just in case you didn't believe me. Okay, and this is a 6-round, which is... Same magazine, just I, I modified this one on my right hand here. Um, I did a, there's a video on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we are both empty on those. Now, for the sake of this video, I will be um, keeping the airsoft magazine loaded, but the airsoft pistol itself is not loaded, even though you can't really see down there very clearly. But, um, so I got a mess of guns and magazines on the table here. Uh, so, so basically, whatever holsters or whatever you're using, um, I'm using this this particular one. I like it because it doesn't, it's not cold against my skin if I'm wearing it with shorts or whatever. Um, this is an, in the waistband one, or at least one that I use for that. Um, so as you can see, um, this fits in here, and it covers up everything. You know, it's it's. It's not super tight, um, but when it's up against my body, it's it's tighter, so you know it's not going anywhere. And the relative, relatively um, similar dimensions allows me to do the same thing with airsoft pistol. Now there are certain things that uh, this airsoft pistol cannot accommodate, like um, if you were to choose, I will do a video on this soon. But this is a clip draw. It's actually connects to the back plate here. Um, but I mean, on the airsoft version, it is not a separate piece it's actually just one solid piece for the for the blowback housing but um, stuff like that you know maybe you can't uh, replicate but this is a hell of a lot better and more realistic in terms of getting on target and at, le at the very least pulling the trigger for the first time the trigger pull is nowhere near the the um, the gun is empty the trigger pull is nowhere near the the, the real steel, but it is a uh, it's close enough to where you, like you can get muscle memory in terms of uh, you know pointing, you know getting on target really quickly, and um, firing at least the first round if if that's what you're gonna practice. And now that I can get eight rounds in this magazine with the modification I did, one two three four five six seven, um, that allows me. Uh, you know, the airsoft version can actually hold, I think, 13 or so. So I can just load this up to eight, eight rounds, um, you know, put one in the chamber. And I have a practice tool that has just as many rounds as the real thing or more if I, if I want to just practice, you know, target shooting or whatever. So let's pretend that we're having a practice session. You know, most people will just practice with their Glocks uh, dry firing, you know, rack a slide, you know, get on target or, or you know, go from the holster uh, no, maybe no magazine, just to, you know, make sure you're safe, you get on target, you know, and, you know, pull the trigger, whatever. That's, that's all, you know, well and good, but, and you're practicing the, you know, where your trigger breaks, and, you know, the weight and feel of your gun, and getting on target with that weight and feel, you know, to create muscle memory, but, um, you know, you don't have, have the ability to have a follow-up shot, there's no recoil causing the slide to blow back and um, allowing you to make that second shot, third shot, fourth, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, with the airsoft gun, you can both uh, dry fire. You you don't have to put any rounds in the in the magazine. 
Um, there are, there's an attachment that actually comes with this particular magazine. I don't know if I have it on the table here. Uh, it's basically just like a small piece of plastic that you, you put in so, um, so this little piece here doesn't engage with the, the slide lock and the heater's coming on so it's going to be a little bit louder on the video. My apologies. Um, let me see if I can actually find that. Okay, so uh, here, here it is actually, I found it. Um, this, a lot of the, a lot of newer airsoft guns, uh, gas blowbacks, come with like sort of things to allow you to dry fire just uh, for practice. And this actually, um, am I putting this in right? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, and then it makes a tour. You know, I can practice uh, magazine changes, you know, and then without having to engage the, the, the slide release here, you know, I can get on target and... You know, pretend that there's a round in there. You know, you know. Um, the magazine is um, not fully charged with gas, but anyway, you get, you get the get the idea, and um, you actually do get a sense of, you know, the blowback action. The um, I wouldn't call it recoil; I'd call it more of a kick to your wrist. But it does have enough of a kick to knock you off target. I got some white gunk in there. Um, it provides enough of a kick to get you off target to where you have to, you know, lock your wrists off in, in typical Glock fashion because of the angle of the grip. Um, so yeah, and uh, you can practice in, in other ways too. If you, if you um, maybe if you bring this along, whatever, and and you for whatever don't have, you know, this along with you, you can, you know, um, it comes apart pretty much the same way except the trigger has to be in the you know, the, co the cocked position rather than the uh, fired position. But, you know, like everything's pretty much the same. It's got a, you know, dual recoil spring. You got your barrel, you know, your slide. Uh, it's, it's all all very, um, very much similar. And so it's a, it's kind of, kind of weird how some people are so, they hate on airsoft guns so much. And uh, it's unnecessary. So... But, um, anyway, what we're getting at here is this is a, a very viable method to practice. And if you want to take it a step further, which is what I do, and I, I don't, I don't uh, only play airsoft, and I do say play because, you know, I, I, I do it for the fun. But um, some people do use it as training specifically, um, law enforcement uh, agencies, military, um, you know, independents and stuff like they actually do use airsoft and you know, simunition, paintball, all that kind of stuff to actually train or supplement their training. Maybe not entirely, you know, maybe they don't just use that, um, but they do use it to train because there's nothing like force on force. If you've never played airsoft and you're a firearms enthusiast and you know, you're supposedly training for um, maybe you're you know, wanting to be a contractor or some, you know, something. Um, or if you're wanting to go into the military, you want to go into law, law enforcement, and you haven't done played airsoft or paintball or done a simunition course, you are limiting yourself severely. Um, you know, when you go to the, like a, an airsoft place, like, a, like an establishment, when there are other people there, you know, that you don't know, you are thrown in a situation where the enemy, the, uh, or not really an enemy, but, you know, the other players are just as much a threat to you as you are to them in terms of, you know, getting them off the field, you know, and, um, you don't know what they're going to do. There's no set, uh, method they're going to use that you can counteract with, like, just by, by your knowledge. You have to think on the fly, you know, it is a real world situation, a, a real world scenario, or scenario, tomato, tomato, and you can't really get that anywhere else for the price of airsoft. It, like, if you want to spend thousands of dollars on simunition, 
and you know have to get like all this crazy special gear for thousands of dollars you know be my guest uh, I would love to actually do that um, personally but I, I just don't have the money and I, I don't want you know want to start investing in that stuff when you can't really do it as a civilian um, but if you're just shooting steel standing still you know what one place like popping your rounds and target while that's important you know to get the feel of your 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 uh, chosen firearm it's very important actually I'm not going to discount that you cannot replicate force on force any other way but doing it so you can run around and, and shoot steel all you want but without that feedback of getting hit and knowing you did poorly and you need to correct maybe something you do for the future um, you know that 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 is hugely beneficial but let's get back on topic of, of you know concealed carry I just wanted to touch on that a little bit since we were on the topic of airsoft and real steel supplemental training and stuff um, this is <coughs> roughly a hundred dollars comes with two magazines or actually sorry it comes with one magazine um, but you can get you know extras and stuff however many you want um, now, now you can't drop this on a concrete floor. This is made out of uh, metal, even though it look, appears to be, you know, polymer. They do make polymer magazines uh, for certain, I'm not going to say Glock models, but G-series airsoft pistols. And they're getting harder to, to come by because Glock has um, filed a lawsuit against some of the airsoft companies for replicating their designs. But if Glock would make their stuff available to the airsoft market, which would be smart, and they do now, for law enforcement and military only. Um, hopefully that'll change in the future. We'll see. Um, but if they did, you know, release it, then that wouldn't be a problem. I recommend using black BBs. And the reason is, when you use white BBs, such as this, um, your eye naturally... I can't even focus it. Your eye, your eye actually um, naturally... Um, focuses on that. And because of the, the low velocities of some of the the airsoft pistols, you can actually see the trajectory and you don't want to focus on the trajectory, you want to focus on on your sights or if you're, if you're um, you know, point shooting just by sort of, you know, feeling where you are, you know, muscle memory, uh, that, you know, you don't want to be able to see the BBs basically, that's the bottom line. Um, even if you're actually playing airsoft, unless you're playing competitively, like, you know, paintball, you know how they um, actually compete for like money. If you're competing for money, I would say yeah, use some white BBs so you could positively know where your shots are landing. But if you're if you're training, if you're using training, um, I would say 100% use black BBs and um, you know for rifles and pistols alike, and then just zero your weapon. So like you know right where your point of aim is for how your intended range, um, it needs to hit right there. You know, and, and you can do that. And air, airsoft guns are very accurate. Um, I, I've built many, many airsoft guns and fixed many airsoft guns. I was an airsoft gun tech. I have had a lot of airsoft guns in my hand. Um, many, many, many. And I can't recommend enough to use black BBs. And these are not actually um, Elite Force BBs. I actually just like the bottle. But Elite Force does make very, uh, very good high quality BBs and I, I've had no issues with them in the past. Um, but I, I use 0.43 gram BBs. Um, so it, that allows me to practice and actually get, you know, when I zero my weapon um, or my airsoft gun, you uh, where you zero your weapon is where these land. Um, less less wind drift. You know, there. Um, you know, if you're playing on a windy day or whatever, uh, you you don't have to actually uh, worry about the wind as much. So, but I mean, you do get less range. But if you uh, you get more effective range, and also people feel the .43 is more because more mass, uh, so it it lets the other players know you're there. So um, just wanted to throw that in there, and let's get back to the video. But l let's say you don't have a Glock. Let's say you got like an M&P whatever, or a Smith and Wesson whatever. Chances are, if you're running a popular firearm, there is an airsoft version, specifically a gas blowback version of your firearm and it'll prob most likely fit the same holster it'll most likely uh, be able to you know you, uh, the, the ergonomics will be the same if not uh, you know maybe maybe a little bit different because some of the dimensions are, are a little bit different to accommodate um, the gas systems and whatnot but it's gonna be pretty damn close and 
it is much better to be able to, to really get on target and do follow-up shots, in my opinion, than to just dry fire all day. Um, do both. I'm not saying this is more important than this or this is more important than this. They are both equal, in my, in my opinion. Anyway, I hope this video did uh, maybe enlighten you. Oh, that looks badass. Um, akimbo. <coughs> hope this video you know maybe informed you of something if you have any questions on, on where to get a hold of uh, airsoft equipment um, I can help you I can help you find stuff I can point you in the right direction uh, if you have any questions on on um, you know this particular pistol or how maybe I made the seven rounds uh, you can throw a comment on there email me whatever I'd prefer you comment because I'd like to for other people to see uh, as well but for now let's uh, let's end the video and please like and comment and subscribe and that's that.